This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Well, my very special guest this morning, none other than Santa Claus. And Santa, you couldn't make it around the world without your reindeer. That is very true. They are uh, wonderful, they're quick, and well experienced after all these years. After all these years, so how do they stay in shape? Oh, we have a, uh, a work, workout plan that uh, we do uh, six months out of the year because the other six months they're asleep. Asleep. They're resting. Asleep. And uh, lots of veggies, no carbs uh, during those six months, but then we we carb up so they're, they can last all evening. So they got all that energy to get around the world. We slick down that fur so they can fly through the air with the greatest of ease. And they do well. You just got it all planned out. Well, let's take a look at how reindeer really live on and off Santa's workshop property. Reindeer are domesticated caribou, hence the rain part of the name, as in the reins that hitch the deer to the sled or sleigh in the case of Santa. Caribou live near the North Pole in Siberia, Europe, and North America. For humans in that part of the world, the available caribou became the most natural choice to harness for duties around the homestead. Scientists believe that the difference in the wild and domesticated animals, caribou tend to be larger and faster, are due in fact to the difference in living in the wild and living and working on farms. The first reference to Santa's sleigh being pulled by a reindeer appears in Old Santa Claus with much delight, a poem published in a children's book in 1821, though the name of the author has been lost to time. It was Clement Seymour's A Visit from St. Nicholas a couple of years later that cemented the image of the flying reindeer in the public's imagination. Who can't recite the words from that epic story? More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blixem. Yes, Dunder and Blixem, the Dutch words for thunder and lightning, which gradually became Donder and Blitzen in German and eventually Donner and Blitzen, according to historian Edmund Clarence. Rudolph came along in 1939, a verse written by Robert May as a promotion for Montgomery Ward department stores. When Gene Autry recorded the song during the 1949 Christmas season, the red-nosed reindeer became a permanent fixture on Santa's team. Apparently, the caribou's nose does turn red in certain conditions, like when pulling Santa's sleigh, perhaps? Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas located on three main highways, I-70, US 83, and US 40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. <laughs> 